Greetings, family, friends, and survivors. Well, I got uh, my son's um, Baja out of the way. And it fired right up, so it's in good shape still. And I'm, I'm moving all of the, the high-grade hardwood down to the wood shop. We've got sort racks for it now. And there's a whole bunch of this uh, clear black oak. Just, I don't know if you can see it, but got a whole bunch of it. That and pine and fir molding. Some really amazing um, down there. Just, I kept the wide, oh, that's heavy. The wide, clear sugar pines. Don't know what we're going to make, but we're thinking about a simple all wood chest of drawers and just kind of do it like an assembly line. But I'm this this beast, oh, 15 18 years ago, it was in the house and it's wood fired, it's a four burner wood fired, it's a majestic, I think. Yeah, it's a majestic. I have the original covers for it, they're perfect. It's got big porcelain covers that go over it. It's wood-fired four burner, and it's a wood-fired oven as well as an electric range four burner and an electric oven. It actually has a thermostatically controlled wood-fired oven, and the whole burn box assembly is not burned out. It's in good shape. The ash drawer I have in storage, all the original implements for it I have in storage. It was in my house. It's just too big for a kitchen. So my plan was to uh, retrofit this side, convert it to propane, and have it a wood-fired on one side and propane on the other, and you'd be able to bake bread with either one, and that is very cool. And I have everything we need to convert the electric side and the burner assembly below, including the safety valve, and a brand new uh, Robert Shaw thermostat. That one was expensive to swap out that electric one. Um, but then we also had, I don't know if you're going to be able to see in here. I'm trying to get the wood out of here. And then there's the Norge. And I have all of the original equipment. And the only wear you can see on the whole thing is just the corner where the porcelain. Beautiful Norge. And uh, I have all of the... The pans and grills, the grates, everything for this. And uh, this runs beautiful. It's already, the range is already set up for propane and it's just perfect. The, however, the oven um, needs to have a safety valve installed and a pilot assembly, which I do have over here in this roper. And that's a modern roper with electric ignition top. So I was going to convert everything to that big. Uh, majestic outside convert that wood fired one to electric ignition which would, works fine with off-grid because pure sine wave inverters run the uh, electric apesio ignitions just beautifully modified modified sign works but the spark isn't quite as hot and i don't think that the transformer is going to last as long but pure sine wave is fine so i'm i'm going to not take the time to sell these even though i paid 300 for that one and 450 for the other one and even this antique here that this has been in the house too and it's got an oven four burner and works fine and believe it or not you can still get the switches for these um, that was in the house that was our regular stove i'm ready to get rid of all of it so if there's anybody that is close to me in in Oregon, uh, Central Oregon or Southern Oregon, and you're willing to come down here, I'll help you load this stuff up with the tractor and you can have it. And the reason being is this building was damaged. A tree uh, broke off the top in a windstorm and smashed the roof and broke some trusses. And we're going to get all of our hardwood out of here. And that's what this building is supposed to be, is a hardwood storage. But then I end up putting equipment in it and stuff like that. So, my fault. 
This was the first shop on the property 30 years ago. It's the first building we built, and it was a temporary building. And it's lasted 30 years. So what we're going to do is fix the roof and get everything out of here. And this is going to be firewood only. In fact, I'm taking the siding off uh, two sides so the wind can blow through it. And uh, that's it. I can get 11 cords of firewood in here and, and that's what it's going to be just firewood storage and we'll get the the beautiful beautiful wood i still got some walnut here i've got uh, a whole stack of madrone still i've got uh, english walnut ash lots of oak and uh oregon maple whole jag of oregon maple there and i and what else i don't know it's just see a pretty board, get it dry, and slide it in here so we could build stuff out of it. And it's just too difficult to get to. So we're just going to move it all right down there to the wood shop, in the wood shop. And then the shorter boards are going to go in the machine shop. And, and we installed racking for that, sort racks. And get it where Dad can actually uh, get to it to build stuff. And uh, he has a good time. And it augments his income. And... Uh, and I like that. That's a good thing. So, all right, I got caught my wind now, and I still think I need to go lie down because my back's saying, don't do anymore. But that's a good start, right? It's a good start. And we had to tarp this whole building because we didn't want rain to come in here and destroy all this wood. And then we put another secondary tarp in here just to try to protect it. This is actually the flooring that's in both our houses. This is all pine that uh, we milled and dried and then we sent it out S4S to run it into tongue and groove, relieved tongue and groove flooring. And that's what's left. And that's just enough to do in my gun room, right there. And this right here, uh, these, uh, what do you call them? imitation logs they're cut three sides and i think carol wants to do something with that um i think behind the fireplace or something or one wall next to it, i'm not sure what it was and i had a whole stack of really wide really long clear black oak to go and that's the one i'm really wanting to not not lose it because it gets wet all righty enough of that we'll get back at it and then again, if you want to, if you want that critter right there, then I'll load it up for you. Just uh, send me a message. I think my email is available in the, on the about page. And uh, let me know. Have a blessed day. Oh, sir. Um, got a bunch of the longer, real, the nicer oak pieces in here, the long stuff. And on the machine shop side is the short stuff. A lot of nice clears. This is an ash frame. This is going to be a, an inner office door. It's the uh, door between the outer receptionist area and the pastor offices. And so Dad's helping us with that. And I found these. We've had these 30 years. Uh, bought 150 of them for 50 cents a piece. Leaded beveled tempered crystal very cool and of course that needs to flip around that's the shape of a cross to go in the door and uh, this is out of the ash that we've got uh, about a thousand feet of five quarter ash and so just dados excuse me rabbits really really nice uh, for setting the panes in there So really happy about that. Uh, Mike came over to help my brother and uh, took a lot of the load off of my back. Gibbs is ready to go. And uh, we've got a long ways to go. We've got four more species to bring in here on both sides. And of course some of it's going to have to stay in the dry shed. So out there in the uh, 
dry shed is going to get uh, three walls. So the far wall, that whole back wall, and this wall. And we have the pine for it and the fir. And uh, this closest sort is going to be uh, uh, stack solid units. And the far sort is going to be uh, on sticks for drying because we just can't can't store all of it as you can see and then I need to keep that upper uh, building where I'm going to get all the junk out and keep it for firewood and just machine shed stuff so you know the splitters and the chippers and the mowers and all of that stuff will store up there uh, still making a decision on on the midget we've got a lot of it invested in that and everything we need to rebuild it is actually in storage I did not get a new top for it yet but I also have a donor car for it I hate to see it go bad but the way my neck is I just don't know if I'll ever really get to it and there's just so few clean rust free uh, 73s with round rear fender wells left there's only so many of them Yep. Split bumper, chrome split bumper. Nice, nice. Hope to make an electric car out of it someday, but realistically, I'm just trying to get through the week, just like everybody else. Uh, all right. Have a blessed day. I'm headed for the barn.